Hello everyone, this is Pomum bringing you part 39 of my Fire Emblem Engage Let's Play. So, today, today as you already know, I'm not going to continue with the main plot because, well, getting into Gradlon does seem like, yeah, final part of the game for sure, advanced class level 14, I'm guessing... Lava fields don't seem like a map that would be that important and the chapter is called the Four Hounds. So I'm expecting there to be a chapter against the Four Hounds and then another two chapters, maybe, for the end of the game. Uh, and this paralogue intrigues me, but it's obviously about Aliar, so I think we are better off... Uh, no... That's where I want to go. Leaving that one for last and doing this paralogue, the broken castle, a place of significance to emblem Marth. Mm, I don't know how I feel about Bale with the Marth ring. I mean, anyone is going to have trouble. Uh, um, yeah, it's probably for the best because Bale is going to have bond one with absolutely everyone. Marth is just the most obvious case because, of course, no one has... Well, some people have bond with Marth. I shouldn't be saying that. For example, Letty, uh, even if I'm not using her. Or earlier. But I, I just don't like that I'm going to be getting a paralogue right now that doesn't allow me to use Marth. So I'm not going to be getting bond now again. Altea Castle, okay. Altea is just Marth's uh, homeland. Unless I'm mistaken. No, it is Altea, definitely. Dollar Empire, led by the Shadow Dragon Medeus. I did know Dollar was the name of the place. Be uh, this might be the, the Fire Emblem game that I haven't played, that I'm the most uh, knowledgeable about because of playing uh, Tokyo Mirage Sessions. Tokyo Mirage Sessions is heavily based on the on the FE1 plot, so yeah, it has a lot of references to that and to Awakening, but Awakening I, I have played. At least like Princess Shida and the mercenary Ohma. Yeah. Uh-huh. あ、はあ。僕は僕を信じてくれる人のために戦いたい。彼らに希望をもたらしたいと願っているんだ。その気持ち分かる気がします。You Okay, this is very casual, like, we just met with Marth and we are talking like, yeah, this is just another paralogue. But I guess because we are going to be getting Aller's paralogue, uh, this is going to be more generic than I thought. I thought this one would be the the special one, but I guess that role will be reserved for the for the other parallel. In combat to strengthen our bond. Okay, so I'm guessing you might even have three health bars to you know prove you're really you know you're Marth. Marth. So you might have three health bars and even some people with health bars around you, like uh, maybe a Pegasus and a mercenary to represent Shida Nohma that you just talked about. Uh, well, not, not some people, but a lot of people. I mean, this might very well be a representation of Ohma. Uh, if you've been such a dangerous hero, the, no, because there's a lot of heroes with revival stones, a sniper, a warrior, a sage. 
a general, another sniper. Okay, this is... At least you only have two revival stones. You're level 40, so capped level. Capped level, strongest emblem. I'm a bit lost right now because it's been some days since I played. I've been... I've been going with my normal run safe. Uh, I, I know that's a bit anticlimactic, like you. Oh, you're doing another another run at the very at, at the same time, but I want to grind up the supports and they are very difficult to get. Very difficult. So yeah. Uh, yeah, no way I that well, I have the brave lands. I'm actually lacking some damage. Eighteen plus nine because only the first hit of the brave lands. Wait, do I reach? Yes. Okay, we can kill you at the very beginning. And, and maybe even easily. So that's what I'll do. Do I... And if I want to use my dancer, I could even save my engages. You have warp. Ragnarok, so you can go there at any time. I mean, if I think about it... What's that? Like, whistling? Unexpected, but I like it. Uh, if I think about it coldly, these enemies having health bars is not that important. It only means, instead of one rounding them, I to round them. <laughs> Like, I need two people to take care of them. For example, this Sage, I go in there, I attack, I dance, I attack again, and, and that's basically it, right? Iron Bow kills. Iron Bow kills. Okay, I've been trying different ring combinations on my, on my normal save too. And yeah, there are some things that I found are very good. For example, even though Sigurd is very good on Cavalry, it's also very good on gas. Any type of unit. Uh, it, it makes for... Uh, for a very versatile ring. Because momentum is just good on, on anyone. I don't know why, but I never took full advantage of momentum when I briefly have the ring on, on Mal at the very beginning. Okay, okay. Now now it's showing. Now I understand. Uh, when Malay is adjacent to an ally and has full engage meet there. I'm oh, sorry. You can select engage plus to engage with them. Emblem Mala engages with the ally, and Mala also enters an engage state. While Emblem Mal and the Engage ally remain adjacent, Dragon Blast becomes the even more powerful Bomb Blast. But that's this... Let's try. I mean, let's try. Why not? Okay, so now I'm Emblem Mala. Like, I'm literally the Emblem. And I have a living source, so let's wait here. Uh, okay. So it seems like I got a stronger, right? Yeah, from the effect of the emblem. I also have Bond Forger. And you also get the effects. Oh, that looks very cool. Very cool. Okay, let's see, let's see how good. I'm not even going to chain guard because I want to kind of see the the effects. The effects of the emblem alone. But yeah. 
ready. Well, why not? Okay, let's see. All right, so I pan elixir. A speed tonic. Is this thief going to just run away? Okay, and I'm emblem mala, like I'm engaged plus. I have to select one character to engage with. Yeah, okay, the thief just escapes. Should have seen it coming, to be honest. It will probably escape and then run up. You can strike on the magical side. Okay, okay, it's it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Does it have any extra effect for you being a flyer? Well, the res, right? Yeah, extra res. If unit initiates combat and defeats four, grants engage partner plus four to all seven basic stats while engaged. Okay, I think I I now understand. So, if one of you defeats, the other one gets the effect. Uh, my bonus is ten. Okay, my my bonus is ten because I have B support. So this was a good unit to engage with. Okay, now Dragon Blast. The good thing about this is that if I engage, I of course get uh, Liration immediately. Okay, I can go and I can... There are some Tomahawks. But only a Tomahawk I'm not... That is scared about. The thing is, I don't know if I can... One round. And while you're engaged plus, you can't engage into something else. Well, of course, I mean, makes sense. Hmm. Having to position them together is not as good as it may seem. Yeah, I will use this because it's free damage. Magical attack too. And I will wait here with Liration. Yeah, because I think swords are the way to go. And I will go here with a sword, so that maybe you want to come for this. I, I still don't know if I even survive on the left side, but I think, yeah, I think. I have uh, some tanky people there, so I should be okay. A silver great tax. I want that. For sure. The problem is going to be the backups. Like the continuous damage from backups. But I have good dodge and at some point they are going to run out of space to attack from, so... Oh. Or not. There were really five people in range? Oh, by the way, something I realized. I, I commented on wanting to give the Brionac to to Alfred, but I didn't realize that, of course, Alfred is not able to wield the Brionac because I don't have S rank. I don't have S rank. So, uh, yeah, that's something that only, for example, Timera could use. I know it's a bit of a waste, but... You, you know, to have such a good weapon and not being able to use it, but... Yeah. Not going to bring Timera back into the team just for that, because who do I switch out? Everyone is essential. Okay, so a very different way of tackling the menace, where the enemy has to approach me instead of the opposite. Thanks for dodging, because... You have very good avoid. I should be exploiting that a bit more, maybe. Oh! Yeah, that would have killed if it gritted. Silver Blade. It's going to push me if it hits. Thanks. 
and now they come closer. Okay, so now maybe, maybe now. Let's see how this works because I'm, I'm just trying some some moves. No, almost made a very big mistake there. I go here, I engage, and I'm going to blazing lion up, of course, and that should set the entire place on fire, so that the movement of the enemies is reduced a lot. Okay, same level again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's not bad at all. So if I take you out of the equation, yeah, that's actually something I can easily handle. Uh, Diamond too. Like, Diamond can take both of you. You are the biggest problem. That Silver Blade. Maybe I should have put you in another class. Also, maybe I should be attacking here. Or there. I think it's better to take care of one of the range units because this one reaches much further than the others. Okay, what do you do? Uh, you go for an antitoxin. That's not the best. Alright, thanks for not creating. That's the only one you could attack, so... Makes sense that you would try. Alcrine is also safe. You go for diamond, everyone is going for diamond. Okay, I get it. But the silver blade is not the best. And you go for the silver blade too, you are stupid. They really don't know how Smash Weaponry works. They really don't, because they always go for it. Even when they are going to get killed immediately. Okay, uh, I think I have no problem with staying here with an Iron Bow because it's only the Thieves now. I think the Thieves are going to escape there and I'm going to be able to block them and potentially even override them to take care of them quickly. I don't want round anyone. So as long as I chain guard, the lean is okay. And if this seems a bit counterintuitive... Oh, now I understand why they did so much with... Why do they do so much with chain attacks? Because they are heroes. When they, are, when they have max HP, they chain attack twice. I don't... I, I guess I don't know heroes well because I don't have one of myself, so... Yeah. Okay. Heal a bit. Mm, not that it's... Well, I actually shouldn't have done that. It's a waste because I'm going to uh, do this. No. Please. Great sacrifice. I have some hurt people and more importantly this heals uh, Fogado. So, yeah. Now, that doesn't stop me from potentially trying to kill... Yeah, you're just in range. I, I think this is also very helpful. I, I think Fogado, if he gets poisoned again and attack again... Because I finally figured out what poison does. It does uh, just make you... Weaker to damage, like you take more damage. Okay, Levin Sword. Well, Levin Sword isn't that scary, like. I'd be perfectly okay going in here. Maybe. Yeah, maybe it's read an L fire, though. Alright. If Martha starts moving, it could be a problem, but. In terms of getting to the... Oh wow. Didn't even move my dancer. In terms of getting the... Pass.
Okay. Sorry, I, I know I survive and I know I'm okay. So I just want to see. Silver Grey Tax. I got the elixir. What was the other thing? Why does it go so slowly? Why does it go so slowly? Okay. Speed tonic. I would have let you escape. Definitely will have. Yeah, I'm, I'm not stopping you in any way, I guess. I, I will have let you escape. Like I don't I don't have any interest in yeah, okay. Override for for the movement to weaken because Chloe is not able to do it alone and And I go there for the full momentum, and I I still take the one with the elixir. I could have let you escaped, and I simply didn't remember what you had, so maybe it was something important. I did remember a stat booster. No, the stat booster was the first, the first thief I killed. Whatever, you stop two engages for an elixir. Also, maybe even that wasn't worth it. Potentially, Chloe is the only one that can. Chloe is probably the only one that can run around the thief, so. Oh! Alacrity! Didn't expect to alacrity a thief, because they are very fast. But you won't see me complain. Marth, by the way, 22, 30, 34 speed. That doesn't look easy to, to defeat. Probably because it isn't. Okay, I'm going to throw this. Because at least I weaken. And, yeah. Best case scenario, I do a lot. And I come with Hortensia. And I have to... 6, 2... Okay, just by getting 2 duals, we are there. But I don't miss any. Yeah. Press on, press on, press on. Okay, okay. This might not look like a lot, but... You have to take into account this Mala. So she's providing the plus three. And I, I think now I might even be able to... Take out the rest of your health with... With a Kaldalboh hit. Yeah, exactly, even. Boom. Okay. There goes you. You I don't care about, and you I should be okay again, so. Okay. Okay. I think this might be the opportunity to heal. Because I'm a bit scared about the rest of the people. Something I haven't made use of in this run, by the way, that is very good. Not related to Great Sacrifice. Uh, well, it's not called Great Sacrifice. It's just... Yeah, Great Sacrifice. And why does it only show Sacrifice when, when using it? Um, is the, the thing, the thing, the, the thing... Shit, can I say it? Or what? Okay, I actually have... I actually have my full... Didn't expect to get a full... Full meter. I can try and, and go for you already. Okay, that's... 
pretty reliable damage. Yeah, I think I will. Oh, yes, 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 I will. I just like my... My damage too much not to. With Alfred joining, this is also made easier to the point where I could potentially kill with the Tomahawk. No, but I think I will go for accuracy, even if it's worse to retaliate against the against the last hero. I should be okay with Rosado. Uh, was that bomb 20? Yeah, I would have retaliated here if I killed, but I didn't want to risk it, so... Okay. The enemies are breaking the door. So Marth is going to come for me. Um, do I care? Yes, because I have used up my engages. Right. That's a big pack of enemies, and I see some wyverns. Maybe you expected me to be rushing Mar? I don't know. The perfect position to be in is there, so... Or, or even lower, even here. Or here. Is that actually kind of... Yeah, yeah. Engage, Great Ether, Hammer. Hammer, I think there are some armors that I... want to attack. I'm blocking a lot. Uh, in fact, the only unit that reaches there is one silver axe. And there, there there's more, but they okay, playing with fire a bit. Playing with fire a bit here. But I know I survive one axe. So... Yeah, we should be okay. 22 speed. 23 speed, yeah. Okay. Now the Volganon. There's only one. I can even go there if I really want to. I kind of do because it protects Mala, so. No, no, it's too much risk. Alchrist is, is not that tanky. He can't afford to be protecting others. He has to he has to be safe himself. Okay, I could go for a bomb shield. That's the only thing I I'm thinking and I'm doubting in between because it's using up Alfred's Engage and Alfred's Engage is very good so let's try this without the Bomb Shield and if not then I can reset the turn and just do the last move and instead of waiting with Alfred then I... let's hope they prioritize Rosado because they think, you know, oh, Rosado can't move. For example, this general going for you already has Mala pretty safe, so yeah. Should be good, should be good. And you go for Mala. And you actually have a 21, so I should have dodged something, but... Okay. Rosado is going to hit... Almost everyone. There's only one warrior that escapes the Great Ether. Great Ether is not that good against bosses. I'm just planning ahead for the tools I need to defeat Marth. So I have to save up on... You know. 
things like uh, well maybe not override actually fogado is not that good against bosses either uh, he's good against bosses is yes bosses are not his his big thing well whatever happens I know this is a safe play uh, Lombos actually counter Thorons very well I think it's the best enemy facing of Thoron you can find in this game potentially if you build Ivy to be 100% a magical tank even more so than she is naturally uh, Thoron with Ivy and Grasping Void could be better but I think Grasping Void only works on, on player face so Luna okay to Luna and we would have done it. Yeah, for example, there I get a lot. Yeah, once you engage with the with the throne room, they start moving. And now there are more. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, yes, I, I am thinking. I am thinking of doing that right now. Okay, you have two health bars. Didn't notice that. Um, and that could be... Potentially that could be a big, 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 big problem. Unless I ignore and I... It's clear that Selene is not going to do too much there, so... Go for Excalibur, obviously. Maybe with a Bravery it would have been better, but this is good enough. Um, Chloe can't get closer. Because there's shit. Well, it might be false. Chloe, Chloe can take a Thorn, so. And she can kill with a. Uh... Yeah, I think I have a plan. By the way, by dancing here, I also have to take a Thorn with you. You have 14 resistance, 53. 14, you will survive. Not easily, but you will survive. Go here. Okay, first of all, I will engage because this gives me a lot of survivability. It just gives me levels, so it ups my, my stats. It gives me a res, gives me luck, gives me everything that you can think of. I could Blazing Lion, but I don't think it's worth it. The enemies right now are piling up a bit, and I think going with an axe might be optimal, because I don't get broken. Critical would have been great. Okay, I don't get hit, I don't get hit. I was going to maybe use a fortify or a physic, but you don't get hit, that's easier. Build, defense, yeah. Yeah, we're okay. We're okay there. Uh, Alacrity, for sure. So I don't even have to worry about the counter. One, two. Well, Alacrity plus plus. Where I only have to outspeed the enemy. So I, I, don't, I don't even have to take... It's not seven. If I double, uh, the foe doesn't counter. It's that simple now. Okay, it would have been a perfect moment to chain guard. I don't know. I think I can survive one Lombo. And she doesn't get doubles, right? So... Go for Diamond. Go for my Dancer, who survives just at the limit, but I did, did know it. Okay, you don't kill at all. At all. The Lombo is pretty heavy, so yeah. Wow. Diamond just takes no damage. Okay. They don't have healers, so any damage I do 
will stick. So if I go for a Blazing Lion, I'm hurting Marth. Well, that's false, because Marth has a Gilded, right? Yeah. I can't... Uh, I can't Dragon Bane for him, but... Yeah. I can kill here. So 33. Well, it, not a 33. It's a 100%. I do 33. I do as much to him as he does to me. And he has effectiveness, so yeah. Now Blazing Lion. Still think the sword is the way to go. Yeah. Maybe the Worm Slayer is lighter than another thing. Uh, nah, Calaport, Calaport. Good. Now there are some enemies with range. Uh, and yeah, that, that should be all I say because I was going to say, but maybe I can. Yeah. Let's try for this, yeah. Why did Alfred assist her? Oh, Alfred can attack with the with the spear, of course. Yeah, some nice residual. Okay, that's Silver Greatlands, though. Oh, you pushed me. You pushed me. For a moment I thought, how could you attack me? Well, that didn't kill, right? I had 19, he did like 16, but... It's still scary. Uh, I can now go for a, for a Paralyze. If I want to keep the, the bullshit going. No. I can engage, I attack here, I paralyze everyone around. I kill and then I take them on the same way. Yeah. Of course, once again, what would you like in this map? Wyvern effectiveness. What does Marth have? Falcon, kind of. But also, Marth doesn't provide Falcon right now, so I, I don't get the... I don't get it. Uh... Yeah, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it. Engage. And I... Thorn. If the Wyverns have hand access, Tomahawks or anything of the sort, maybe they would be very dangerous. But right now, I'm able to deal with them. Uh, and yeah, these Flashing Fists, they don't even scratch me. So the only things I have to fear are the Silver Great Lances. Uh, you are stopped now. You are stopped, you can't. Yeah, maybe it's actually safe well as long as you can't move some lunas yeah the damage starts piling up soon there's only going to be marth and some wyverns and I can deal with that easily. Yeah. Well, I could miss one of them. Okay, now... Yeah. Now it's safer. Thanks, Alfred. For providing extra damage uh, for the cost of absolutely nothing. My objective for this turn would be... Uh, I already broke your guard. Okay, that's good. My objective for this turn would be to to take one of your bars down. And I think it's doable. Definitely. I think I have to be a bit smart about how I do it. 
Uh, so first of all, Diamond and Roy are kind of done. I think I'm going to block with Rosado now, Rosado with the Ragnel. And now if I could put Rosado here... Oh, you have two bars. The notice. Okay, that's going to be bad. Well, what do they... I... I don't solve anything there because I still get counter. Well, 21, I can do 21 with... Yeah, with Hortensia plus Celine, I can do 21. Okay, I still need to put Rosado there. That's a good idea because I will affect everyone and especially I will affect Marth at the start of the next turn. Uh, to get Rosado there, I have to take care of the Wyvern. To take care of the Wyvern, I was going to use Magic, but apparently it's a bit too much. Okay, we go back there. Hortensia has to be the last one attacking, because Chloe will be okay, even with this. And Celine too, but... Not Hortensia. Okay, Chloe Bendo, yes. I may have to... I may have to pass on doing damage to Marth. Ah, what a shame. Oh, well. It is what it is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now Hortensia takes it home and... But I can still attack Marth with, with some people, so it's not like I lost the turn or anything. Ooh. You could save that 4%. Go back. Alright. I have to put Rosado there, obviously. Yeah, and I'm going to Great Ether, obviously too. With Ragnel, so that I break. Yeah, it's better damage on you, I think, too. So... That's nice. Mm -hmm. You have a guard or...? No, you just have a lot of rest. Well, then I buff the damage on Alcrest and... Maybe a Luna crit. Just a simple crit. Okay. That's good damage. Yeah, and I'm going to... I'm going to Great Sacrifice. This is good. This is good. <laughs> I know I could go in there, but it's, it's a bit too risky. Okay. What happens now? I'm gilding. I knew that. It's you who goes near me. I mean, taking care of you isn't bad, but... But I'd rather be killing someone else. I think I still kill you, at least, yeah. Ooh, that's a lot of damage on Marth. Much more than I expected. Much, 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 much more. Uh, how, how well do I take... Okay, 
for a measurement you have 46, they have 45, so yeah. If I'm taking 20... No, I don't take 22, I actually only take 9. Yeah, I should be okay against the wyverns. Okay, can I take out your health bar, Mark? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. And I assist, which is important too. Killer. Mm, no critical, no critical, but that's okay. That's okay. Uh, only Wyverns and Marth now. You can actually go for this and maybe try for a uh, Luna. Yeah, that's multiple chances of Luna, so it's better to go for the Brave. When you don't double naturally some strength. Yes, only one bar on Marth. I could actually probably kill him now. In fact, do I go for it? Why not? Okay. I don't see any point in trying to kill absolutely every Wyvern when they are apparently infinite, so... Oh! Well, I expected more from that. And I can still dance and do more there and... Just to check. If I wait, I wait. Yeah, okay, okay. We, we can do this. We can do this. Uh, in fact, if I get an Ignis, this is it. No Ignis. No Ignis. I do get a break. Uh, yeah. Alright. Uh, this was easy at the very end. In fact, I might want to go for experience instead of bond because my bond is kind of capped so you're level 14 alfred how do you how do you do it how do you do it you just don't get okay i'm going to warp ragnarok here to make a space to alfred i will also probably Goddess, you survive. Well, then I definitely Goddess Dance. Uh, not Engage Plus, please. Right? Well, maybe I should have done something with Ivy first. Uh, what could I have done? Nothing. Thoron, please hit. Alright. That makes some, some space for me to go in. Again, not that I need to. It's just... It just would be nice to get some experience. Uh, okay. Three range. The only one that has it. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, you reach by looping all the way around, so. So I will make some way. There. Yes, using all the specials. Why not? Okay, uh, uh, Diamond actually doesn't reach. You would have to engage to reach, which is okay. I can do that right now. Uh, yeah, Radiant Bow, there goes. Okay. 
Mm-hmm. Can I physic anyone? And I all for one. Okay, it's not difficult, but it's only not difficult because you have such broken units. I'm guessing Malas Engage Plus is very broken because you seem to be able to spam it continuously. Well, no, you have to refill your engage, but it's still like very, very, very good. No, they kind of gave you a good counter against that because Malas uh, engaged him to be able to dodge a lot of attacks, but uh, chain attacks can't be dodged. Like, they always have 80% accuracy, so... Yeah. The map kind of had a natural counter against her engage plus. Which is good, it's good that they planned ahead for that. It's a good map, it's a good map. I like it. Oh, the Divine Dragon Tiki. And you met Tiki in this map. I didn't know this. By the way, I think I'm going to buy the DLC. Just so you know, really didn't want to. I still feel like um, having some extra emblem rings that... From what I understand, they aren't called Emblem Rings, they are called Emblem Bracelets. But they go aside from... from like, they don't make part of the story, so you get them in Parallax or something. And I'm not that excited about getting them, but I think I should be trying them out. So probably for Maddening I would try a few, then some others. Because there are some characters that aren't going to get... Well, one character that doesn't get an emblem. And I think, I fully think, that is intentional. I think that they decided to put a character that that doesn't get an emblem ring so that you if you want to have a full party of ring users you have to buy the dlc and that's a shitty move but okay hmm. i like that i like that explanation you know because mala is similar to tiki that's why they. That's why Marth feels so close to to Mala immediately. Yeah, it's good. It's good. All right. So no spoilers really. I knew about Dolph and I knew about Medeus. Like these are things. One knows. I don't know every final boss in Fire Emblem, but I know most of them, I think. Okay. Okay. Nice looking place. Nice looking place. Yeah, the architecture does remind me a bit of what we saw in... in Tokimura Sessions. A bit like uh, Greek. Can you give me that? And for example, a character that hasn't fought. Yeah, they, they have, like, generic things about... Oh, you you give me more fragments? Louis, I haven't used you in, in years now. I actually expected you to... Oh, there we go. I couldn't click uh, world map, world map. Okay, so that leaves one paralog and... Uh, something else. And, the, and the, the main story. One paralogue and chapter 23. Uh, next is obviously the paralogue. I think that makes sense. Also, before I forget, Bale. Marth. There we go. 
Reference support. Only one support. Only one support. Only one support. I know I have multiple bonds. Thanks for not having millions of supports. Supports take a lot of time in this let's play. It's the only thing I regret about this let's play. I have to read. I have to read the supports, of course. I'm interested in the supports. And I want to know more of the characters. And I actually think supports are a key mechanic to do that. But uh, even if they aren't the longest supports ever, there are so many of them that they take too much time. Too much time. So that's one of the reasons why I'm doing one... Uh, you know... Helping her carry stuff. Yeah, I dedicated one one run in on normal mode just yes, to get every support and every bomb so that I can know which ones I like, which ones I don't, and then I I skip most of them <laughs> on the future. I know it's a bit yeah to not do it on camera, but you you probably also want to find out for yourself, and you should definitely play this game because. This game has replayability out its ass. It's incredible how many combinations of skills and things you can do. Uh, for example, I've only seen Lin act together with a flying unit. But I know with a covert unit I can do a range 20 for Astra Storm. That seems very, very, very good. Uh, okay, three. Actually, uh, Hortensia Celica. Hortensia Celica. I don't know if we'll have time to get to. <laughs> In my book, you are outclassed. Ah, Celica. Even if I really like Roy, one thing I have to concede to Celica over Roy is the design. Both the original design is very charming and the redesign they did for Echoes is just, is just perfect. <laughs> More than need. Okay, that didn't really go anywhere. Like they seem to, they seem to be pretty similar from the beginning. Reference a bit being a princess, but hmm, I don't know. I'm 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 glad it's this way because I don't know anything about Erika, so I don't want. Uh-huh. Okay, these are short. But didn't I get one that was pretty long? Uh, which one was it? I think Mala and Byleth... Well, it, maybe it's because it's Mala. So Mala's A-rank bonds are, are very good. But not very good. <laughs> very long. Very long. Uh, all of them have been good, to be honest. I, I kind of prefer bonds to supports in this game, even if that sounds a bit weird. Uh, I also think Mala Corrin is a combination I want to try in the future. I'm definitely going to reclass Mala into different things, but uh, Mala and Corrin is a combination I want to try while being a Divine Dragon. Because being able to use any Dragon Bane sounds stupidly broken. Stupidly broken. Uh, so yeah, seems like that's going to do it for this part. Hopefully, a short part, short and sweet, with a, a pretty good map uh, that actually makes me a bit intrigued for gameplay on FE1 because it wasn't the kind of design I expected from FE1. I thought most maps on FE1 were uh, on the exterior. So getting a castle interior map, yeah, makes me wonder, makes me wonder. As I said, if you want, it's going to be the next Let's Play we do in this channel. 
And yeah, next is definitely going to be this Parlog on the Garden of Memories. Uh, so yeah, that's going to do it for this part. This has been Pomom. As always, if you like this part, consider liking, subscribing, leaving a comment. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.